Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm joined by a very special guest here. I've got a wine who's playing... Tick slash Mitzi. In the amazing Priscilla, Queen of the Desert party at Alton in London. How excited are you? Uh, on a scale of one to a thousand, I would say I'm at a billion. It is very exciting. Of course, it's a brand new venue in London. How are you finding rehearsals? Uh, sweaty. Sweaty, but I think because the show is set in, Aus in, in Australia, I think this is good that I'm getting used to this, this heat, Perry, you know? But rehearsals are going super, super well. Everybody's getting on. We're having a lot of banter. There's a WhatsApp group. There's a lot of pulling each other's leg. There's a lot of cuddling. Um, yeah, we're bonding really well. And I just love the show as well. And of course, it's an iconic show. Mm. Um, have you got any favorite lines at all that you've <gasps> learned along the way? <clears throat> so, I mean, pretty much anything Bernadette says, yeah. I live for. Um, current favorite is when Bernadette says, listen here, you mullet. Um, I also really like getting angry at Felicia. Felicia's kind of like my, my little baby, my little naughty puppy who keeps weeing on the carpet. And I get really annoyed with her, but she's so adorable, I can't, you know, get rid of her. But when I say, I say to her, there are two things I don't like about you, Felicia. Your face! What a read. What a read. Oh, fabulous. I really like that. It was originally a film, but coming to stage in London, we've traditionally just seen it in a theatre, haven't we, mm. where you sit and you watch, whereas this one's more immersive. What can you tell the audience about that? Oh, my gosh. The, do you know, it's the perfect show for the immersive element because... I mean, one of my favourite things about Priscilla is its message of inclusivity. And the songbook has been updated since we last saw it on stage. So we've got a bit of Lady Gaga in there. Shut up. Yes, I love her. Do. She's my queen. Yeah. Oh, my I mean, gosh. Yeah. Like, who, who's not, like, obsessed with Lady Gaga? Um, yeah, so I don't know if that's a spoiler. But, hey, Perry, you got an exclusive there. Ooh, I'm very um, excited. But, yeah, but it's, you know, like, so this celebration of inclus inclusivity... And what better way to do that than in an immersive style where the audience are literally going to be up close and personal with us, a part of the show, so they can boogie on down when we're doing the big disco numbers. But I think the more poignant numbers will have such a... Oh, such a raw feeling, actually. You know, it's like, because... Sure, we've come a long way, yeah. like with the queer community, but there's still so much work to be done, and we're so lucky here in yeah. the UK, but to be doing it in the centre of London. Near Soho, um, may I just it, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, uh, how wonderful to be creating this super queer safe space for people to just express themselves and have a good time <laughs> and learn something as well. Amazing. Well, I look forward to seeing it when it opens it out in it. Thank you so much, Owen. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Perry Presents. Cheers. So I'm just here with Trevor in rehearsals for Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, the party. Are you excited? Yeah, it's going to be great. I'm very excited to be a part of it. And of course, you've got quite a poignant role in this, haven't you? Who are you playing? I am playing Gay Cliché, who is the host of the entire night. So I'm the one who's emceeing and coming back and, and speaking with the audience throughout the evening. So it's quite a big job. And of course, it's a party which is so different to traditional theatre and it's immersive. How do you feel about that? Look, I think it's going to be really exciting. I think audiences are going to get a lot out of this show. It was always a party in the theatre, so I think to have it now as a party in a party uh, is going to be even better. <laughs> And of course, there's so many amazing, iconic songs in this. We got to see a few today. But have you got a favourite at all? Oh, look, I'm still a bit partial to I Will Survive, I have to say. You know, just because, you know, I got to do the show originally 18 years ago. And so now to be back with it, it's great. But it's bringing back lots of memories. She just down the road from Soho as well, which is very exciting. Central London. This story actually means so much to the LGBTQ plus community. Why do you think that is? Look, I think it's an iconic film that was made, you know, when there weren't a lot of queer films coming out. And uh, now we're luckily spoilt for children. But, you know, in the 90s, it was certainly rare to have a film that was as, as successful as, as this one was. And I think it really does tell a really authentic story about uh, Sydney drag and about um, the community that uh, we have back home. There's so many fun lines in this as well. But do you have a favourite at all? Uh, oh, Cock and a Frock and a Rock's always good. <laughs> always one of my favourites. And apart from the light your town and blow your box apart. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> I love that. Well, Trevor, thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you at Altonet in Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, the party. Yay. Woo!
indeed. I'm here with Reese, who plays... Adam Felicia. Very, very exciting. <laughs> Priscilla, Queen of the Desert Party. Not just your average theatre show, is it? Are you excited? I am so excited. I keep calling it Come on the Party Bus with us. It's fantastic. Um, yeah, our version of this show is very immersive. Um, productions before have been set on the stage, whereas this is very up close and personal. You can become part of our story, which I absolutely love. Um, like other productions that have come about, like Guys and Dolls at the Bridge, and that is very much like that. Um, we have platforms that move all around the auditorium so you're moving constantly with with our set um, and yeah it's just a big celebration of sequins and feathers and glitz and glam it's wonderful like these shoes Woo! my snail shoes but that. yeah it's in a brand new space Alternet, which has literally i think only been open for like a year how excited are you to perform in this in such a different space do you know what it's it, it it's going to be incredible. It's in Tottenham Court Road, which is central London, um, and in Soho, which is, you know, that real queer community vibe. Um, and it is just incredible to be able to bring this show to a brand new venue, you know, which is... Uh, oh God, I, I can't even explain it. I'm lost for words because I'm just so excited um, to be doing this in, a, in an amazing venue as well. And why do you think Priscilla, Queen of the Desert means so much to the LGBTQ plus community? It means so much because of the story and the story is still so relevant to today and that's what makes it special. You know, even in this day and age, you know, times are very different from when the film first came out in 93, 94. Um, but again, it is still so relevant to today and that's what makes it incredible. So many fabulous numbers in this song. We've just seen three, but do you have a favourite at all? Of course it's my song. <laughs> which, which one is that? Which one is that? Do tell. Um, so it's changed uh, in this production. So Adam Felicia's first entrance song is Better the Devil You Know Ooh. by Kylie Minogue. Which we just saw. I don't even know if I'm meant to be saying that, but there's a little insight for you. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, Adam Felicia loves Kylie, so his world is Kylie Minogue. Um, so yes, of course we had to add that song in. But do you know what? You've also seen I Love the Nightlife as well, which is also one of my favourite numbers. Um, so yeah, but they're all fabulous. Who doesn't love like I Will Survive and Hot Stuff? Like, exactly amazing. the best. There's so many fun lines in this show, but do you have a favourite read or favourite line that comes up in the show at all? Oh, my God. Um, I think it's I think it's like my first line in the show where it's like, oh, Bernadette Bassinger, we studied you in history class. Ooh, <laughs> I love so that. So sassy, I love it. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Reese. I look forward to seeing you in Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, the party Woo! at Alternet. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, darling. Thank you. Well, I'm joined by the amazing Dakota, who is starring in Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, the party as... Bernadette. Now, we've just seen three very, very special numbers, which were super fun. But why are you so excited to bring a party version of Priscilla to the West End? Well, this is going to be a completely new experience for audiences, I think. This is such an immersive production um, with the, the show happening amongst the audience and moving through the audience. Uh, I think it's going to be a party to remember. Absolutely. And we're literally just round the corner from Soho. But why should people come and see Priscilla Queen of the Desert, the party? And what's different about it from your traditional show? Well, I think people should come and see it because it's the most fantastically inclusive and uh, it's a story of love and it's a story of acceptance and inclusivity, mm -hmm. um, which I think is gold dust at this uh, particular time in politically and political and social history. Yeah. Um, and they should come and see this version, which is different, uh, because it's just, as an audience member, I think the experience of sitting and watching a production is, is amazing and just watching a straight musical is, is fabulous. Um, but to feel like you're part of a musical because you're encouraged to join us on the dance floor, dance like you're at the, you know, in a drag club and just interact with the show as it happens, yeah. I think is going to be just a sensational experience. There's so many amazing songs in this show. We were lucky enough to see three today, mm -hmm. but do you have a favourite at all? Uh, we do a, a slowed down ballad version of Born This Way by Lady Gaga, uh, which is a new, new addition to the show, um, which I'm a big fan of. So that, that's going to be fun. Queen of the gays, isn't she? Queen of the gays and nays, we love her. <laughs> Being that Priscilla has such an amazing um, history with the LGBTQ plus community, why do you think it's so important to have a show like this in the West End? Well, I think the last, I don't know, five, five years, ten years, there's been such an atmosphere of of fear and of setting people against each other and of demonizing certain groups and I think a show that has this much love and acceptance and 
uh, encourages people to be everything they are and to embrace that and celebrate that. It's just such a valuable message and uh, it's, it's just something to, to celebrate. Absolutely, and there's lots of good lines in this show, but do you have a favourite line at all or read? Um, I'm thinking of a couple that are slightly X-rated, so I probably shouldn't do those. Go for it. Do one X-rated and one off. <laughs> um, there's a moment where uh, Bernadette's talking to a very butch barmaid and says, Listen here, you mullet. Why don't you light your tampon and blow your box apart? Because it's the only bang you're ever going to get, sweetheart. Oh, I love that so much. It's just such a classic, and I'm sure audiences are going to absolutely love it. So be sure to check out the amazing Dakota in Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, the party at Altonet. Thank you so much, Dakota. Thank you.